pink streak. Another form of entertainment was provided by the neighborhood movie actors. The Palace Theatre was in existence from my earliest recollection. It was situated in Grandstown at the foot of the hill on the hill road, opposite the southern recreation grounds, and was owned by Mr. Louis de Valier, who lived on Market Street. Years later, in the 1940s, the cinema theater was established at the corner of East and Lewis Streets. And in the 1950s, the early 1950s, Mr. Percy Pinder built and operated the Hillside Theater at the corner of East Street and Mason's Edition. And this was followed shortly afterwards by the Paul Mears Theater on Market Street South at its junction Fleming Street. And then the Capitol Theater, which was built on Market Street opposite the Southern Recreation Grounds. None of these movie houses exist today. Four was a pervading outlet for the energies and interests of the young people of the community. Cricket was the national sport, with soccer and rugby the popular winter interest. Everyone either played cricket or was a knowledgeable expert. Each district in the island was represented by a senior team, all competing for an annual championship trophy. There were St. George's for the Eastern District, St. Albans for the West, the Wanderers for the Police, and St. Michael's, the St. Agnes or over the hill. In later years, there were additional teams, like St. Bernard's for the Catholic community, the Vikings, and the Westerns. Basketball was also introduced in the early 1940s by priests of the Roman Catholic community, and was played first at the Priory Grounds. Of course, today, Youngsters from over the hill excel in all forms of current popular sport, including track and field, baseball, softball, tennis, and basketball. They stand symbolically and proudly on the shoulders of many former over the hill champions in all, in all disciplines of the human sport. Importantly, however, were the many leaders in commerce, industry, education, government, and the professions who came from humble beginnings over the hill, and despite many obstacles of opportunity and financial means, went on to become the Bahamian legends of the present and past generations, who were the prominent over the hill merchants of yesteryear. Many of today's lawyers, doctors, dentists, and other professionals have their roots over the hill. But they were rare specimens 50 years ago. Dr. C. R. Walker was probably the first, followed by Dr. Cleveland W. Enius from Bain Town. I was acclaimed as the first lawyer from over there when I was called to the bar 56 years ago. In fact, the late Justice Maxwell J. Thompson, although not from over there, born in Anagua, did grow up in Mason's edition and could certainly claim to have been an over there boy when he was called to the bar seven years earlier than I in 1946. Serving the entire area was one, was a single police station. One fire engine, which provided the police and emergency needs of the over the hill community in the early days. The first southern police station was in fact destroyed during the infamous 
Burma Road riot of 1942. It was then located on the western side of Google Road at its junction with Bias Street, opposite of which was the two-story building at Lisey Street, which housed the post office on the ground floor, which is still there, and the Grandstown Public Library on the upper floor. Here, many of us as students went to do our homework under the helpful eye of Ms. Lily Weir, the librarian. And it is interesting to note that her niece, Mrs. Lillian Weir Coakley, was later appointed librarian after the library had been relocated to its present site nine years later in 1951 when the Southern Public Library was erected on the Southern Recreation Grounds. After much parliamentary and governmental difficulty sustained by its promoters, Dr. C. R. Walker and Mr. Bert A. Cambridge, the then MPs for the district. In those early days, the community leaders were the few professionals and the more successful merchants teachers, and artisans who stood out and were, were relied upon for guidance in all the public and civic occasions. They were also the officers in the churches, in the lodges, in the barrel societies, and the fledgling credit unions, some of which were not more than ASUs. The late Dr. C.R. Walker was the only medical doctor who set up his, set up his office over the hill. He had first established a consulting office on the hilltop on Leading Street, opposite Bethel Baptist Church. But he later rebuilt, he later built the Reinhardt Hotel at the corner of Blue Hill Road and the Tin Shop Corner and moved his office and a small pharmacy on the ground floor of this building, which he himself designed and constructed. He also published a weekly newspaper called The Voice, which was located in this building and was published for some 10 or 12 years. Immediately to the south of the Reinhardt Hotel was the Grunstown Market, which was an adjunct to the main fish and vegetable market on Bay Street. <coughs> the Bay Street Market was a venerable old Spanish type building on, on the north side of Bay Street, opposite the northern end of Market Street. It was bounded on its western side by the government ice house, which daily manufactured ice for the entire island in those days, prior to the advent of refrigerators and homes. On the southern side of the Grunstown Market, there was a small area to which ice was delivered daily from the factory ice house on Bay Street. And over the hill residents could purchase their daily ice requirements from their own ice depot each morning. A corn mill was also located in this Grunstown Market, where residents took the corn grown in their own fields over the hill or in their own backyards to be ground into grits or meal for their personal homes. And so life went on. Over the past generation, most of the old families from over the hill have moved out into more modern, developed residential subdivisions. As our population has grown, so have also these old families expanded in numbers, in affluence, and in importance in the country. They have become some of the country's